Okay, so let's get started with our BootSass project. Now, if you've gone to my GitHub page and you've downloaded the assets, um, go ahead and extract them to a folder that you can reach in your browser. As you can see here, I've got mine set up on my local host server in a folder called BootSass. And I have a fresh copy, and all it's going to contain is the README file from GitHub, uh, index.html, and the assets, which um, is bootstrap compiled into, or I guess converted into uh, SAS or SCSS. First thing I want to do is create two folders. I'm going to create one called CSS, and I'm going to create another called SCSS. And what I'm going to do now is add this as a project to Scout. Now I'm going to be using Scout app to compile all of my bootstrap code and I'm also going to use it uh, with compass as well. Um, as I said in my last video I have another video on my channel uh, that will show you how to uh, download Scout and get it set up. I'm going to click on this plus sign here at the lower left corner and I'm going to find my boot SAS folder which is right here and I'm just going to open it and I need to do two things I need to choose the input folder which is going to be the folder that contains all my SCSS code. I'm going to click open and then the output folder where I want all my CSS to be compiled to. Um, that's going to be pretty much it and um, I'm going to go ahead and open up my editor and you can see here I already have uh, my project open. I'm using Sublime Text 2 and I'm going to create a new file under the SCSS folder and I'm going to save this as main.scss and um, what I'm going to do is just have a simple line of code here and I'll change the color of H1 to uh, I don't know, blue and we'll save it and then I'll switch back to Scout app and I'm just going to click play and hopefully everything will start to compile and work correctly okay so you can see the first thing is detected the last change I made which was the uh, this right here and it created main.css so I click here and yeah we're good so we've got Scout integrated um, let's check it in our browser and make sure that it updates here yes we can see it changed to blue so so far we're good let's go ahead and go back here and I want to make sure compass is working so what we need to do to include compass is to type out at import compass in double quotes and then end it with a semicolon then I'll save it and I can always come back here to uh, scout and check this uh, this little area here to tell me if uh, there are any errors or if you see this it's usually a sign that everything worked um, let's use our first mix in and to call a mix in you have to type in at include and then uh, the mix in name it's sort of like a function name so I'll just use a simple one uh, in compass and it's called the single box shadow and uh, I think I need parentheses here we'll, we'll see I'll save it and all it does is that is it adds a uh, box shadow okay so no errors when I refresh it, um, you'll see that it just added a single box shadow. I want to show you what it looks like with an error. Let me save it here. Okay, so maybe the parentheses are not necessary. Either way, uh, if you see an error, it'll show up here and it'll tell you uh, what line it's at. And um, it'll also show you in the browser. Okay, so that's it for this video. In the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to actually include Bootstrap and get that part set up. So thanks for watching.